And welcome back to Chick Rocky Gymnasium. Here comes Lori Creighton. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. Bob Kickner, the athletic director, will be the man that you'll hear speaking. Okay. Good evening, friends, family, former Bears, future Bears, Olympia High faculty and staff, community members, volleyball fans, and anyone that may have missed watching this online. Welcome to Chick Rocky Gymnasium for a historic moment in the 114-year history of Olympia High School. Tonight, we all share in our reverence for our special honoree head volleyball coach, Lori Creighton who has represented Bear Nation with class, professionalism, skill and preparation, a consistent regard for the female student experience, a passion for volleyball, and master coaching and teaching skills owned over 43 years. <laughs> Tonight, we are grateful to Capitol High School for being such a special part of today's events. It is fitting that the final home contest for Coach be against Coach Katie Turcock, who was a member of the OHS teaching staff from 2007 to 2016, as well as being one of Coach Creighton's assistant coaches. Together, they have contributed heavily to the growth and enthusiasm of volleyball in Thurston County and have impacted hundreds of young women through their Volley Kids and OC Volleyball summer camps. In 2017, Coach Turcott led the Cougars to a WIAA state championship. Congratulations. <laughs> At this time, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Coach Katie Turcott. against you. 
most of those schools that are listed up there. You have a passion for the game, an absolute commitment to the girls that you work with, and which in surely impacts their families and the whole community. It has been a pleasure to work with you. I would also be remiss if I did not give a shout out to your husband, Greg.
who you are, and you can't help but do that. Thank you for the impact you've made to me, and I know every single one of those long ball players, every single one of the parents and part of that program in some way or another, you have impacted them because that is who you are, and you can never change that. So just know from the bottom of my heart, I love you, and wish you nothing but the best as you venture off into this new part of your life. We just want to thank you, Lorraine, for everything that you've done in the volleyball community here in Washington. Uh, she's been coaching for over 40 years, and, uh, and I, it's all been a yeah, correct? And she's produced not only great teams, she's gone on the state, I believe at least over 20 teams have gone to state, but she's developed really great young ladies who've gone on and done great things. And also coaches, you know, in this arena, there are some coaches who have been underneath her, uh, they've learned from her, and have done a fabulous job. So we just want to say thank you to you for this everything that you've done for our state. We're going to have a few more speakers here. Here comes Bob Kickner again, the athletic director. Okay, as we continue down the celebration, I'd like to first bring the next presenter, uh, representing basically 43 graduated classes. Uh, I'd like to bring Grace Clark, who is the current ASD student body president for Olympia High School, class of 21 22, for the first presentation. Great job, 
Well done, Greg. Congratulations. And for that, just a little crop, a little gift.
uh, as well as work the resources necessary to upgrade our Hall of Fame and our record board. So again, thank you, John, for being here, and thank you for what you do with the crowd. Uh, quick reminder, at the conclusion of tonight's ceremony, uh, particularly for the alumni, there is a special gathering down at River's Edge at the Tumwater Valley Golf Course. Uh, and you may hear more about this as the speaker, but uh, she wanted me to make sure to remind you that when we're done, we're shooting for seven, uh, we'll get down there and have a good time. Uh, our next presenter, uh, representing the alumni, a former player, former coach, former booster, parent of three bears, including one of our team captains right now. Please welcome Shelly Wilson.
and she is the ultimate student of the game. And I appreciate <laughs> appreciate all that she's done for everybody that's here. Um, as a parent, especially, uh, she has uh, been able to be a player, uh, a coach, and, and a parent. And on behalf of the moms that are up there, parents and grandparents, I know they've heard many stories. Way back, give us a wave, all you moms. Yeah. And so I'm going to say thank you. Great, Lori, we love you. And we're excited to just celebrate more later this evening. And thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for coming out to me.
to say a few words. So Lori, it's the microphone to finish this evening. Lori Creighton going to come up now. Officially, it's been named Creighton Court here at Olympia High School. And there she is, Lori Creighton.
he was an outstanding student, a class officer, a three-sport athlete, in fact, the outstanding athlete as a senior. He was a teacher here, he was the AD for a bit. <clears throat> he was the head baseball coach, volunteer baseball coach with his friend Todd. Um, he was the creator of a sports medicine class. Uh, the person the person responsible for us having an athletic trainer position at this school and in this district. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you read the article, you know that he was the originator of the use of the um, phrase make good choices here to look in high school for, <laughs> for students going out the door for this class on Friday and nuts as they passed and uh, that was the last words out of his mouth, and uh, many of us wear those t-shirts proudly still. I saw a couple of those back out of the drawer and worn today, so that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, he's also uh, been inducted to the OHS Hall of Fame. Um, I have, may have been a bit more visible the last few years, but he has made an inc incredible contribution to Olympia High School all of his own. And um, then, then you get to mention I get to his tireless and ongoing support at home all this time. And uh, of late, being on staff, uh, we have benefited from him. And I got to see him a whole lot more the last four years because he was here, and that was priceless. Um, and he has been the engine behind the scenes that has made um, my coaching gig possible. Um, he's a wonderful human being, and he's, um, you're probably not aware of this, but uh, he is the four time winner of the husband of the decade. Uh, to our fellow OHS coaches, ADs, and administrators who supported me 
and help me stay on the right path. Uh, the principal who gave me my very first teaching job at Washington Middle School, Gene Kernan. My first OHS AD who hired a totally, this totally inexperienced um, rookie 43 years ago, Bob Ward. Thank you for coming tonight, Bob. Thanks for taking a chance on me. Um, the principal who hired me as a teacher here 12 years later, Dale Heron. Um, and any of the ADs since who uh, did their best for me and the other coaches on staff to equip us uh, for success. A special shout out to John Amidon and Bill Beatty for understanding our challenges, being in the trenches with us uh, as coaches and giving it your best and for your initiative to make this happen, this crowd and hall of fame that we have um, at Olympia High School. It's long overdue and thank you for making that push. To the key and indispensable staff who daily do the hard work behind the scenes, like our current AD, Bob Pickner, his assistant, Shelly Walters, and our ASB, ASB fiscal officer, Teresa Hayes, our head custodian, Carolyn, our gym guy, Cal, in the building, to our many athletic trainers over the years, Diana Roberts, Taylor Sheldon, Cassie McGinnis, and currently Brandon Brooks. Thank you very much for your investment in our athletes. To the countless assistant coaches over the years, too many to name, I don't want to keep you more than those 10 minutes, I promise. Uh, I will my, name my assistants from the championship year, 1998, Julie McDougall's in the house. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> At the time, was Julie McKechnie. Um, also in the house tonight, Jen Zitter. Thanks for coming, Jen. And I uh, have two assistants that year, Shelly Wilson was on staff. Our 2011 coaching staff, Coach Katie Turcotte. Christine Murphy Oldright is here. And Amber Wetzel was on staff as well. A special thank you to those who played for me and came back to be assistant coaches over the years. Sincere apologies if I've forgotten anyone, but I'm going to name you. Let's give them all a one two clap. Can we do that? Hold on, I'm going to go down the list. Is there a two? Julie Nelson. Carla McKissick and Kathy. Leslie Bash Rodeo, Wendy Wilkin of Carlisle, Kelly Kravitz, Manny Mackinelli Madrid, Danny Tiet Simpson, Shelly Cooper Wilson, Lauren Craiger Johnson, Christy Murphy Oldright, Holly Jensen, Christy Selby Ray, Tiana McIntosh, Lauren Herseth, John Spiller, Jesse Jewell, Lauren Wilson Barnett. One more time, Lauren Wilson Barnett. I am so grateful that you have all returned and given back to this program. Oops, jumped on the page yet. Uh, there are so many more who fill the role of coaching this program. Thank you to all for joining me in this adventure and including um, those not mentioned. One individual um, seen in the video uh, who Providence sent uh, to coach and walk alongside me during the season my dad passed away was a man that. Peterson Solomon, I will forever be indebted to her um, for rescuing me that season. I am the rescuing. Um, special and huge thank you to my two longest tenured and loyal coaches over the years, Katie Turcott, for her nine year stint before returning to Capitol to wreak havoc in the three ranks. Yep. Not only did she take first, she took third, and she took second as well. Nice job, Katie. Carry on, Katie Turcott. One, two. Thankful uh, to my loyal friends who coached the first state championship year and five years after, despite her family probably needing her way more than we did, but she's continued for years as our storekeeper and uh, mixed in four or five more years of rescue coaching, especially this last spring during uh, the emergency COVID hire. Thank you, just isn't enough, Julie McDougall. I am forever grateful to those who have invested alongside me in this program to help grow volleyball players and young women. Thank you, Bailey Hunt and Avery Brookshire, who have joined the fun at the strangest of times with this COVID stuff. It's been crazy, but you're both, but you've both given your all these, to these kids and this program, and I really appreciate you. <laughs> Much gratitude to one of my recent and best hires ever. Jen Meyer. She has walked through some of the most difficult and unbelievably challenging times for me as a coach. Um, from her first year with me 
Indian federal sixth and lead to sixth and state run, which was awesome. Um, to COVID and coaching, I put that in quotes, coaching in some form or another for almost 13 straight months, trying to find a way to keep kids engaged in a positive uh, way. Uh, I literally am so grateful. There are no words for all that you have brought to us and to me. Thank you, Jen. Giving a standing ovation from everyone here. Well deserved. going to be it for a magnificent night here at Olympia High School. 
Uh, Lori Creighton, she's not done coaching yet. They're going. They're off to the district tournament. And she wants to get back to, to Yakima on the state tournament. She still has a shot at uh, finishing off with another state title. Who knows? That could uh, could happen. Uh, they got districts coming up uh, next week, and then uh, you know after that, uh, we'll see if she gets over to state. And if she does, we'll be over there as well. In the meantime. Uh, Olympia did win the match tonight handily, 3 to nothing over Capital, and over her former assistant coach, Katie Turcott, who has won her own state championship at Capital and was part of her staff in the 2011 state championship as well. A special, special night for Lori Creighton. And now you're looking at Creighton Court. It will be dubbed Creighton Court, and that is uh, a lifelong achievement for she and her husband, Greg Creighton, and congratulations to the both of them. That's going to do it for us here at Olympia High School tonight. We thank you for joining in. We'll catch you next time here on the Eli and the NFHS Sports Network.